to take you to Mexico. Uh, I'm going to be making a fruit salsa with all of our seasonal fruits that you can use on a daily basis. In my mise en place, which is a French term for everything in its place, I have some blueberries, some raspberries and blackberries, some strawberries and kiwis. Realize that I also have my ingredients and materials that I will be using throughout the recipe, such as a whisk, a spatula, and of course some measuring cups and spoons. These are all main components of baking or cooking. We are going to be learning how to use different knife skills to cook all of these different fruits. Before I get started, I always wash my hands. Make sure to use warm water for 30 seconds so all the bacteria goes away. Now that I have finished cutting my strawberries, I'm now going to show you how to chop a kiwi. So chopping is cutting into smaller than bite-sized pieces. So first we are going to start peeling our kiwi. So what you're going to do, you're going to cut off this end where the stem would be. And you're going to use a firm hand and slice down like that. So all of this comes off. That's going to be our flat surface. Then you're going to cut the other part off too, on the other end. So it's flat. Then we are going to take off the skin so it ends up with just all the fruit in the center. You're going to skim your knife down the outside using your claw so you don't cut your fingers until all of the skin comes off. Then continue doing it to your other kiwis. Trying to get as close to the skin as possible so you're not wasting as much fruit. Now that I finished peeling my kiwi, we are now going to begin chopping. So we're going to use our claw and slice down the middle like that. So we have another flat surface. We are then going to flip it onto the flat surface and cut into thin slices. Making sure to get even slices. You can pick two by two. You can go one, two, three slices to get little small pieces like that. Those should be smaller than bite sized pieces. So now that I've finished cutting all my fresh fruit and putting them into a large bowl, we are now going to begin whipping our cream. So you are going to be needing heavy whipping cream, some vanilla extract, and some sugar. So we are now going to open up this heavy whipping cream and pour all into a cold bowl. Using a cold bowl helps form the, the stiff peaks of the cream. We're going to now pour all. And then I like to put one, table, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extra. It gives it a nice smell and it elevates the flavor. Then we are going to add about two tablespoons of sugar. This will give it the nice sweetness that we need. Now we are going to be using a new skill known as whipping. Whipping is basically pumping air into a liquid and making it into a stiffer and thicker liquid. So a way to whip cream is by holding the bowl at a slight angle and making circles like that at a speed so you're pumping air into the liquid. This way the liquid will get thicker and create a nice whipping cream. This is also healthier version of buying that canned cream in uh, the supermarket or wherever you get all your ingredients. And Rainbow Chef is always trying to look for a health healthier diet for all of the new generations. 
and continue doing this until it gets thicker. See, it's already starting to get thicker. Another way you could do it is by going like this and pumping air. This one might take a little bit longer than the first variation that I just showed you, but it still does uh, a great job of whipping the cream. fresh ingredients so we stay healthy for a new generation. So as you can see my whipped cream is done and if you taste it I bet you could taste the difference from the canned version that you get at the store. This is way healthier for you and we only use a certain amount of sugar and I can guarantee you it was less sugar than that over there. So one thing you could do is you could take a little taste. Don't tell your mom. <laughs> but Together, these are such a great dessert. Another thing you can make is cinnamon pita chips. I made them cutting pita, and then after they were done baking, you would sprinkle them with some cinnamon sugar. It's really easy. All you need is about one tablespoon of cinnamon and two teaspoons of sugar. It's very easy. So, now we are going to plate up. We're going to take some pita chips. See how crunchy they are? That will give our dish a nice texture. Then, using a spatula, we could mix our fruit real quickly. See all those beautiful colors? And that represents rainbow chefs. So you're gonna top your chips off with some fruit. It doesn't have to be neat. We know it's gonna be yummy. And then we'll finish off with about maybe two tablespoons of whipped cream. Might be hard to get out, but try to get as much as possible, or as much as you want. And there you have it. You have uh, pita chips with fruit salsa and whipped cream. See you next time on Rainbow Chefs.